Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlyle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlyle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlyle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlyle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen.
Oh, by the way, I told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but thanked me that she understood the position. That I is Phineas Whitmer, really the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Okay. Sam, the gun for me to provoke her. Shit, man. Caroline really did a number on you. Oh, nothing. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take... I know I oughtn't to say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and, and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and, and, and I dare say I don't like it at all. So I just need to check. That's a bit excessive, I think, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry about that. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments, or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Looking good, man. Looking good. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. 
Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Oh, stop pacing. God's sake, Emma. Look, why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude, that's what it is. With a handsome face like that, I bet you've worked with a lot of high-profile celebrities. I should put a pin in you it. Back yeah. To yeah. You. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, how long have you been working here? About a month now. You're American. 
What on earth are you doing in this shithole? A girl like you belongs in clubs in London. I bet you're a great guy. I don't like dancing. What about restaurants? You like food? I know some great places. You should come visit. I'll take you somewhere really nice. Spend a few bucks. A girl like you deserves that. I don't know. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? I'm serious. I have a friend who's a model. She says that's the sweet, sweet life. You should come and stay at my place in London. We can have a come over. Give you some tips. I'm quite happy here, thanks. Patrick Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. What did you think of Zachary? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexei used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. So, is that it? Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary tops himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Mr. Patrick, can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually. Could you speed up time so I don't die from boredom? I fear I may not survive an entire weekend of this shit old. Perhaps a brisk walk in the garden. I said speed up time, not my passing. I'll just go away with you. Maybe we should get back to... Yeah, what you said. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? A kiss? Do I like 
like him, or, or do I like That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Aaron Ford Jr. calling from Morgan Yates and Cohn. I need to get a listing of asset transfers from the Carlisle account HTC Depot number 5085. Uh, no, I need it immediately. Yes, I'll hold. Yes, I'm still here. What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. Exist. What do you mean it Stop. doesn't exist? Right now! That was it, sir. You're free to go. Move along. I'll double check and get back to you. At least you never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlyle legacy, what bollocks. It's all gone. <laughs> I doubt our big brother could have botched it up any worse than I have, even if he'd tried. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Stop. Oi, what are you doing here? This is Mark Romeo 7, apprehended on note. You can't control people like that. Someone's causing panic.
Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead, and that he has to write the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. I still have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead, better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. Take it easy, man.
someone's all kitted out. She should have gone with a better surgeon. Symmetry, symmetry of her. Why do you buy that gossip rag? Portrait photographer check out. You verified his identity. Everything's in order. His caress, what a difference that would have made. Right. I clearly remember when I was five. I climbed a tree and could not make my way down. I was scared and called out for help. But all
Yes, hi, Cassie. It's me. snag. 16-year-old received 28 intimate pictures of sexual character from the minister. You know he used to fancy my sister. Oh, you're giving me a headache. Carlisle's daughter. Rebecca? Yeah. Oi. Oh, stop yeah. that right now, sir! You can't just bash people's heads in like that! Miss... Ah! What the hell are you doing, Papa? about our man.
person accused of sordid affair with a personal assistant. <laughs> you should have listened to me. Don't get your meat where you get your bread. That's what I told him. Please keep your comments to yourself, Gregory. Immediately. Holy crap! Stop! Engage! Copy that! Point. No sign of the target. Anyone have visual on the target? I don't have a visual! I do not have a visual! Oh, get gunshot! Get gunshot! Oh, oh, get the fucking help help now! Me. Whoa! I lost him! Right I lost him! Come in! Come in! Come in! Just keep calm. Huh? We've got a possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. Stay in cover, let me through. Okay, gotcha. Understood. Ah, nice. Someone's hurt. You 
have to help. What seems to be the problem here? What? Oh, the way keeps starting. That should do it. Thank you. What the hell? On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. That could be tough sometimes. And that detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to sniff around? I feel weak in my knees from all the tension he has got. She should have gone with a better surgeon. Symmetry. Symmetry, Emma. Why do you buy that gossip rag? It's so vulgar. Listen, Gregory. Something's off. Pruitt not working. We all signed the bloody...
How's everything coming along? Are you there? Very well, Mr. Percy. Make sure you put it I think you should hide that thing. I could listen all day. Get out my face, Sibby. Why are you all up in my face, huh?
Okay. Hey, mind where you're going. Why waste away in front of the books when he can play like that? A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. You look tanned. I bet Mother spent the last week at her Cypress estate. Am I right? I'm not at liberty to say, ma'am. Oh, come on. I need to know what's going on. This affects me too, you know. No need to panic. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office.
such a gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. Who good's gonna come of it? Stick to your own kind. You mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. I shouldn't gossip. But that Emma woman is a tad too busy for my taste. Tell me. Elaine says she saw her on the top floor, stroking the door. Hey, I don't know who you are. Inside. Is everything ready for tomorrow? Oh, Jesus. OK, I'm going to call the cure. Stop, right now. Coffee room's clear. Over. How are you today, sir? Um, reading? You look really smart. Okay, in a good way. Okay. I do like reading. Really? Oh, I like beautiful reading. Beautiful daughter. Hey, I should sorry. probably. No, no, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, absolutely. My parents would hate him.
Hello, this is Cassandra Cox, Edward's ex-wife. I don't know what's going on at your house, but Edward is losing it again. He seems to believe that Alexa has come back from the dead and that he has to write the eulogy for some make-believe funeral event. I still have the restraining order on him, so whoever gets this message now that Alexa is dead better get him under control. Otherwise, I see no other way than to get the police involved. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Complete. Well done, forty seven.
me. Got your text. It's fine. I'll figure something out, okay? Don't worry. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now, it's my turn.